and let's rock and roll! Hello everyone, it's your boy Eddie Rude, local chili cook-off champion, and I'm going to show you how to make some award-winning chili. First off, I'm going to go over here and show you what you need, the ingredients that is. Okay, here's the things you're going to need to start making some chili. You're going to need a pound of ground meat, it doesn't matter the fat content. You're also going to need one link of Cajun style smoked sausage or some, or some andouille sausage. You're going to need two bell peppers. You're going to need a red onion. You're going to need two cans of Rotel hot diced tomatoes with habaneros. You're going to need some diced tomatoes in sauce. This is hunts made specifically for chili. You're going to need a can of chili beans. These are pinto beans and chili sauce, food line brand. You're going to need two cans of diced green chilies. You're also going to need some assorted seasonings such as oregano, cayenne pepper, black pepper, cumin, and of course, chili pepper. And last but not least, my secret ingredient, brown sugar. Okay, first things first, we're gonna, we got our hamburger in the pan, we're gonna brown it, and we need to start cutting up these vegetables. So, this is how I like to cut up peppers, it's probably not very efficient, but this is how I do it. I cut off the top, and then I, these little cubby holes here, I just start at the top and work my way down, and I get rid of all that membrane and shit. And then the top, you got the same deal here. All these little four pieces. Just cut those off. And now you got some good looking pepper to work with. And I like to cut them in pieces about that big for the chili. We're gonna take these and saute them in olive oil once we get them all cut up. It's the same knife I cut myself with a few weeks ago. Well, I was cutting a different way. I was cutting a lemon. Down you go into the pan. You know what the pan needs though first? That I forgot to add a minute ago, some olive oil. And I don't know, I'm not a trained chef or anything. I don't know if this is considered super wasteful of a pepper, but I don't know, I like the good bits of pepper, not a bad bit, so. And some of these pieces are gonna be uneven. That's fine. It's not gonna make too big of a difference. We're going to saute them anyway. Get them uh, nice and cooked beforehand. Okay, for the onion, I'm only going to use half the onion. Um, for bigger recipes, I would go full onion. But since it's just me and Kathy eating, I will just use half the onion. Put the other half over here. So, I just topple an onion like this. Get rid of all that membrane shit, whatever that you call that. Boom, gone, good onion. And I usually take it, cut it in half, cut that in half, and then boom, 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 boom. And some nice onion slices. I always cry cutting an onion. It depends on how fresh they are, I believe. Don't quote me on that, but. Okay, that's good onion, that's a good, good amount of onion. Yep, cook them all together, make a mess, all that good stuff. Okay, so I'm gonna turn the burners on for the for the hamburger and for the, the bell peppers. I usually put it on medium to high heat. You know, with a hamburger, yeah, you put it on high heat and you just don't wanna burn it. Um, but you want it to get done. But yeah, we're gonna let that cook. Okay, so our hamburger is just about done, or done-ish, so we're gonna turn that down. Our vegetables are just about sauteed. When I'm looking a little bit something like that, I'm gonna turn that down. And we're gonna go and drain this hamburger in the sink. Okay, now we're gonna focus on our sausage. I got one one of the links of the Cajun smoked sausage. I'm gonna cut up into little sausage pups like this. It's a bit thicker than I normally cut it, but 
We're gonna do something about that in a minute. All right, once you get them all like that, what I typically do is take them and stack them up like this and then just cut right down the middle. So you get nice little sausage halves because uh, this chili we would typically eat with tortilla chips and you don't want a big fat ass piece of sausage on your tortilla chip. Maybe a nice little piece of sausage. You can go and cut them in quarters too if you want to, but that might be like that big one right there. It's good. These, these ones are kind of big too. Can do those in quarters as well. Yeah, nice little sausage quarters. And what we're going to do with this, get the end piece there. We're going to cook them in the same pan we just cooked that, that hamburger. All we want to do at this point is just get a little bit of browning on it. That's it. And that's just gonna take a few minutes. Okay, we've already got our ground hamburger in the crock pot there. We've got our vegetables, so I'm gonna go ahead and put all of those in. Until some of those onions got a little bit burnt. That's what we want. Just get all that all that goodness in there. Boom. Okay. Next, we got our sausage. Got it a little kind of a little burnt on the ends there. That's what we're looking for and throw all of that in there. Boom. Now, I went ahead and already opened up all of our cans. Got the tomato sauce. Straight in there, whole thing. Tomatoes, uh, diced tomatoes with habaneros. Straight up, whole thing. Same thing here. Chilies, same thing. Might be noticing a pattern here. And finally, our beans. Just let me get it all in there. A nice little sound. Okay, we got them all in. Now we're gonna put it on low, and we're gonna get it a good stir. Get all that shit mixed together, y'all. It's a party up in here, and everyone's invited. The beans, the tomatoes, the sausage, green peppers, whatever you want to do. They're all invited. So, now here's where things get tricky. We got our seasoning here. And I got my measuring spoons here. Guess what? I don't use them. So, this is gonna be up to you how you like your stuff seasoned. I like my stuff well seasoned. Get that oregano in there. Get that fresh ground pepper in there. Get that cayenne in there. Um, this is this is the spicy shit. So this is what you're gonna want to ignore or add more of if you want it le less spicy or more spicy. The ground cumin, 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 whatever you want to call it, gives it that uh, little Tex-Mex edge. I think nice, uh, nice little seasoning. Also the chili powder, which I am just about out of. I'm just gonna put the whole damn thing in there because that's all I got left. Boom. Now. And you give it another stir. Let all the seasonings get in there and mix all together and it's gonna it's gonna sit there and uh, stimulate the meat. Make everything all nice and spicy after eight hours. So you might be wondering, but you said brown sugar too. You're right. I did say brown sugar. I don't add that in until close to the end of the chili cook. So we'll check back in with that in about eight hours.
Okay, so it's been a few hours for our chili to be cooked. It's time to add the brown sugar. I know I throw this, the measuring uh, spoons away a little bit earlier, but I do like to use them for the brown sugar. So, I like to put in one tablespoon of brown sugar. Reach in there. Grab a little bit, pull it out, hopefully don't make a mess. Go above a bit more than one tablespoon, but it'll be fun. You just throw it in there. Let me stop by you get there. And you start in. I let it cook a little bit longer. I don't know why I want to put the brown sugar in late but in the game, but I always have. And that's what works for me. That's why I got this. Okay, the chili is done. Here we go. We got the chili done. I got some uh, garlic bread I made separately out the way here. And we put a little bit of cheese on there. And that's it.